Welcome back, Studio 701. We often like to highlight the police dogs we have patrolling our area. But we're not always aware of the amount of training that goes into these dogs. And joining us today is Sergeant Lyle Sinclair with the Bismarck Police Department and Daryl Gaunt, owner of Paraclete Canine. Thank you so much for being here today, gentlemen. Well, thank Thanks you for having us. us. Good morning, guys. So, Daryl, can you start out by telling us about Paraclete Canine? Like, what is your business? How'd you get it started? Sure, no problem. Um, first of all, I was a uh, uh, sheriff's deputy for 30 years in Los Angeles County. Uh, halfway through my career I decided I wanted to start working with police dogs on our SWAT team. So for about 20 years I uh, was on the SWAT team with uh, the dog teams and eventually became the trainer. Uh, we developed a tactical canine class and a uh, behavior shaping class for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department to help other agencies. Uh, the class got so popular that I was doing more of the class than actually being able to work so uh, I was asked to start a company outside of the Sheriff's Department so I could do it with other instructors and uh, have time to help people all over the country. So that's basically how I got started. I have uh, several classes that uh, range from behavior shaping to communication skills to uh, decoy uh, skills, which are when you put the bite suit on and take bites, mm -hmm. uh, up to SWAT classes. So that's in a nutshell. Yeah, a lot <laughs> of knowledge there. So Sergeant Sinclair, how important uh, is this training for police dogs here in the 701? How excited are you to have Daryl here? Well, I'm very excited. I first met Daryl about four years ago at a national conference where it was just a <coughs> two hour lecture. And I was like, wow, I got to get this guy to North Dakota. And so we brought him up and everyone's like, wow, this guy really knows his stuff. He explains it very, very well. What I like about Daryl is he doesn't just cover the topics. He makes sure everyone understands it with interaction. And then we get on the field and make sure they understand it with their dog. I was watching the class in Dunn County that he did last week and everyone's mind was just getting blown and like, oh, I understand now, I understand <laughs> now. And after class, they're like, now I know why Lyle yells at me so much. I'm like, yes. <laughs> There's a so, reason for it, yeah. Yes. Okay, well, we have some video we'd like to show now of some of these trainings that are going on. Can you explain a little bit of what we're seeing? It looks like a lot of kind of uh, leading going on. What, what's happening here? Well, they're working with the dogs, their clear communication, what the handler wants the dog to do, and that way it reduces stress in the dog. The dog is less stressed and the handler is less stressed and it's better for everyone. So what we're doing is distracted obedience where the dogs are you know, following dad or mom around like they're supposed to, except there's other distractions. There's instructors out, there's other dogs out, there's traffic, and they really don't care. They're tuned out, they realize, oh, I just gotta pay attention to dad. Dad's gonna take every, care of everything for me. Here we see Daryl out in the field with a bite suit for him. And anyone that runs a police dog knows that, oh gosh, no, 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 no. And now the dog's like, yeah, whatever. So it's a very good class. And once the dogs master this, life becomes a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Sure. The funniest part about this is, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. The funniest part about this training is everyone thinks I'm there to help train the dogs. I'm not. And I, I jokingly say I'm tr here to try to cha train the monkeys. Yeah. Because to me, the handlers are the, the problem with these things because they try to put too much into the dog, like, well, he might be thinking this, or th it's simple, it's just animal behavior. I take about 15 minutes to train the dog the first hour of the class, and the rest of the three days is training the handlers how to stop messing up my dogs. Because yeah. it's all about communication, it's, it's dumbing it down to, if the dog understands what I want them to do, they are willing to do anything to make us happy. That's just their pack mentality. Mm -hmm. sure. So that's the hardest part of the class is, Telling the handlers, relax and breathe and just let the dog be a dog. Right. Mm -hmm. And I understand there's a, the, the training has come a bit into the 21st century as well with, is it e-callers? Yes. Uh, and, and you guys use those, right? Yes, that's uh, one of my big classes is the behavior shaping with an e-caller class. And everyone thinks it's actually an e-caller, which is an electronic device that uh, can give either vibration or a light uh, electrical stimulation to the dog for either communication or correction if need be. We try to, to uh, rely heavily on the communication side on very low level stimulation so we don't have to hit the dog at a higher level for a correction. The old way, the way this is the 21st century training was, it was opposite. You put the e-color on, you told the dog do it. If he didn't do it, you zap him. That led to a lot of confusion, a lot of conflict in the dog's mind because, I just, like I said, you, you take the lowest common denominator, which is usually my handler, because my dogs are usually smarter than my handlers. Sorry, Lyle. No, I fully agree. <laughs> Finally, somebody else is validating what I'm saying. And I can say this because I was that dumb guy for 40 years because I did 10 years in the military also. And I took this class 
from a buddy of mine about 10 years ago. And I was so beside myself once I, I got the concept because I like for 20 years I've been doing it wrong and making it difficult on myself and the dogs when it was just so simple. And these guys, like Lyle said, their minds get blown the first day when I go, no, I'll be in a bite suit five feet from your dog. And normally the dogs are just like at the end of the leash just because that's the best toy in the world. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, no, I'm gonna walk up and pet your dog in the bite suit. And they're just gonna go, dad, mom, you see what Daryl's doing? Let me get him, let me get him, let me get him. <laughs> no, 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 not till I tell you. Right. But the second they allow them to, with that clear communication, dogs happy, handlers happy, and, and I'm happy. Yeah, so. and it's so important. I mean, they're such a great resource for police departments everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, before we let you go, though, we do have to give a shout out, right, Lyle, to uh, Canine Mesa and yes. Joey. Can you tell us about that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, every quarter, I submit them for cases of the quarter when they have a good find. Uh, and it's been several times where it's almost deja vu where Joey will win the case of the quarter for the region. And then the region goes to the national level, so he's competing against canine teams from around the country. And then I got an email that Joey won the case of the quarter. I'm like, oh, okay. And then the guy that told me, he's like, you do realize this is at the national level, right? I'm like, oh, no, I didn't. So not only did Joey do really good for North Dakota, Minnesota, he beat out teams from all over the country. So I was very, very proud of Joey and Mesa. So Awesome. Wow. Yeah, very great cool. job, guys. Well, who trained him about three years ago? <laughs> Let's see here. That was. Oh, that's. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Daryl, you got to give yourself the old yeah. pat on the back too. No, I, and honestly, <laughs> I, 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 I try not to because guys are like, oh man, that was so great. I'm like, no, I, I it honestly just makes me happy when yep. I can make these guys safer because I tell them yeah. my yep. whole job is to make sure you can come home to your loved ones. Oh. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, we love it. The guys, thanks so much for being here this morning. We really do appreciate it. My well, pleasure. Thanks for having us. And for more information about Paraclete Canine Training, check out Paraclete. Canine.com. And you can also check out BismarckND.gov and search for the canine unit. You'll see a great picture of Joey and Mesa there. Still to come though on Studio 701, do you know what a doula is? We talk with one doula to find out how she can help you. But first, get up out of your chairs, everybody.